Hello everyone. Today let us know about the first chapter of biology which is transport in plants. We all know that plants produce their own food by the process of photosynthesis. Now, what are the ingredients for this photosynthesis? Yes, water, carbon dioxide, etc. Now, water is absorbed only by the roots and the food is produced only in the leaves. But this water has to go in whole plant body. This food also has to go in whole plant body. Otherwise, the plant will not get the energy to sustain. So, to do that, to transport the nutrients, minerals, water and all the food and all, there is a transport system in plant. Let us learn about that transport system in detail. Now let us understand about the first definition which is transportation in plants. Transportation in plants is the process in which substances absorbed or synthesized in one part of the plant are conducted to other parts of the plant. Okay, now let us understand this definition neatly. Okay, but before we understand that, I want to tell you one thing. Do not fear of definitions. Definitions are not at all difficult. What you need to do is that just again and again, again and again, just say the definitions. You will be expert in definitions. There is no need to be fear of definitions. Definitions, again and again, again and again, if you say that now, it will become fluent. It will become very, very normal for you people. Okay? So, I have given you a very important tip for learning the definitions. Bar bar bulte ro, bar bar bulte ro, aapke dhamaag mein fix ho jaya. Aap neem se hi uut ke aapko koi poochhe ga naam ki ye kya hota hai, wo kya hota hai, aap fata fata bulta ho ga. Thik hai? Kyunki aapko wo dhyan mein rahe ga, bar bar bulte ro. Okay? Yeah. So, now let us understand the meaning of the definition. Okay? Transportation in the plants is the process in which, I hope there is no doubt in this line, Transportation in plants is the process in which substances absorbed or synthesized in one part of the plant. Let us learn this, uh, understand this much first. Some substances are absorbed or synthesized by the plant. What is absorbed? Water. What is synthesized? It is done to make the food. This is done to uh, for in the photosystem synthesis. Okay, so they are done in only one part of the plant. It's absorbed only by the roots. Okay, so food is prepared only in the leaves. Okay, so from one part of the part to other parts of the plant means from the roots and leaves to all parts of the plant. Okay, I hope you must have understood about the definition of transportation in plants. Now let's go to the next part. Now, this conduction of water and food is done by mainly two tissues. What are they? They are xylem and phloem. Togetherly, these are called as the vascular bundles. Now, let us learn in detail about these tissues. Structure of xylem. A thick wall makes a tubular passage for conduction of water and minerals. Xylem is made up of four types. Tracheids, vessels, xylem parenchyma and xylem sclerenchyma. Now, in this, only xylem parenchyma is living. All other cells are dead. Location. Location of xylem is in the vascular bundles. In Roots, leaves and stem. Function of xylem. Function is that xylem conducts water and minerals from the roots to all parts of the plant. Another function is that the xylem, sclerenchyma, trachea and vessels 
also give mechanical support to the plant. Now let us learn about all types of xylem in detail one by one. Let us now learn about the first type of xylem. It is tracheids. Structure of tracheids. Elongated dead cells with tapering end walls. Lignified and thickened. Okay. Let us understand the structure. The tracheids are elongated dead cells. Lumbar dead cells. Okay. And they are having tapering end walls. Okay. Tapering end walls. As you can see on the screen right now. Thickened with lignin. Lignified. Okay. So they are thickened with lignin. Now let us look at the function of tracheids. Function they uh, help in the conduction of water and minerals. Tracheids help in the conduction of water and minerals and give a mechanical support to the plant parts. Xylem vessels. Xylem vessels are long tube like structures which are one above the another forming long channels. This is the structure. Let us understand the structure. The cells in vessels are tube-like. Okay, they are just like a tube. Okay, and they are placed one above the another. This is our tube. On it, there is another tube, another tube on it, another tube on it. In that, like that, they make long channels. Now, the ends of these channels are open and they are thickened let us look at the functions of vessels function they help in upward conduction of water and minerals and they also provide mechanical strength to the plant now let us know about xylem parenchyma structure they are small living Cells. Now, small cells, okay, that we understand. But why I have stressed on living cells? Because in xylem, parent chyma are the only living cells. Other cells are dead. Okay, so the parent chyma is the only living one. Now, let us go to the function of xylem parent chyma. The function is different from others. The function is that it stores food. Xylem parenchyma stores food and helps in the conduction of water and minerals. Now let us go to the next part which is xylem sclerenchyma or xylem fibers. Now let us learn about xylem sclerenchyma. Xylem sclerenchyma are long narrow cells tapering at both the ends. Function, it only gives mechanical support to the plant. With this we complete xylem. Now let's move to the phloem. Now when we have learned about xylem, let us know about phloem. Structure. It is a complex permanent tissue of four types. C tubes, companion, companion cells, flow and parenchyma, and flow and sclerenchyma or flow and fibers. Now, in xylem, only xylem parenchyma were living, all others were dead. Phloem is completely opposed to that. In phloem, only phloem sclerenchyma are dead and all others are living cells. Location 
at the vascular bundles of plant in roots, stems and leaves. Function. Now in xylem, the function was from the conduction of water and minerals from the roots to all parts of the plant. But in phloem, it is from the, the it is of the food material produced by the plant from the leaves to all parts of the plant. Okay. Now let us learn about all the fluent parts, all the fluent types in detail. First type of fluent is seed tubes. What does a seed mean? You all know a seed means like a chani. So we must have understood the structure a little bit. At least a little bit we must have understood the structure from the name itself. Now these cells are cylindrical cells kept one upon another. Okay. And the end walls which are there are perforated. That means how a seal has holes on it. The same way the end wall, end plate has pores on it. Okay. And these uh, walls are also called as the seal plates. This was the structure of sieve tubes. Now let us go to the function of sieve tubes. So the function of sieve tubes is to pass the food material from cell to cell. Okay. The next type is companion cells. Companion means the one who is with you. Okay. We all know the meaning. I am not teaching English here. I am teaching bio here. Yes. So, these companion cells are the companions of the sieve tubes. Now, the sieve, if imagine this is a sieve tube. This is a companion cell. Just with it. As like a companion. So, these are called as the companion cells. Structure of companion cells. They are elongated, thin-walled cells attached to the seed tubes as I told you before. The function is that they help the seed tubes to conduct the food materials. Now let us learn about fluent parenchyma. Fluent parenchyma are long parenchyma living cells associated with phloem. Their function is to store food. Phloem sclerenchyma or phloem fibers. They are sclerenchyma test jet cells associated with phloem and their function is to give mechanical support to the plant. Now let us have a difference between xylem and phloem. First point for differentiation is function. Now the function of xylem is to conduct water and minerals from the roots to all parts of the plant. Whereas the function of phloem is to conduct food material from leaves to all parts of the plant. Okay, so the direction is different and the material to be transported is different. Now let us look at the direction. The direction in xylem is unidirection from roots to aerial parts. But the direction in phloem is bidirectional. Means from leaves to the upper parts of the plant and from leaves to the lower parts of the plant. So phloem is bidirectional, whereas xylem is unidirectional. Now the next point for differentiation for comparison is the energy. Since phloem is living cells, it has an expenditure of energy, but xylem does not have an expenditure of energy. Now, xylem consists of tracheids, vessels, xylem parenchyma, and xylem sclerenchyma, whereas phloem consists of phloem uh, seed tubes, companion cells, phloem parenchyma and phloem fibers. With this we complete vascular bundles today and also 
we complete this module of transported plants in the next module we will be learning about how water is absorbed by the roots okay so i hope you all must have understood about the vascular bundles thank you